most of you have probably not been waiting for, and that is the day in which I go over a, another tier list, <clears throat> this time the top YouTube boxing commentators. So let's get into the video. Make sure to leave a hate comment, a dislike, and an unsub, because that's what most people do. Um, but for the people that do like me, I see you, and I support you. <clears throat> so I think that we've divided this into top analyst, good commentator, casual, mediocre, and biased fanboy. I think every person that I'm going to have is going to be, there's going to be one person for each category. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there'll be multiple people in every category, most likely. Um, so let's just get right into it, starting off with, um, with me. Um, so then there's me, and I'm going to put myself right now as a casual. And the reason why I'm going to put myself as a casual is because while I think I understand boxing and YouTube boxing in general, and I have a deep knowledge of KSI and Jake and Logan, I still feel like I have a lot of learning to do when it comes to breaking down boxing. And if you've watched my boxing videos, <clears throat> I've come a long way in terms of understanding it. And, um... I think I understand it more than people think I do. I have controversial opinions or opinions that don't quite make sense. And I say things that m people might just instantly react to and think, oh my god, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But when they think about it more critically, they understand, oh, he actually knows what he's talking about. But I feel I still have a lot more to learn about this sport. And um, and I think it's in general... Um, Kind of understanding every little aspect because I don't because I don't say like oh like you know KSI's jab was really great here or I don't use like the boxing terminology that some of these other commentators use, um and that's pure, partially because I'm still learning about it and I like to give a more layman's perspective a more average Joe's perspective of this whole boxing thing. So that's why I'm a casual, but I feel like in a year from now, I'll be at a good commentator. <clears throat> Next up, we have the weight concept, and I'm going to put him as a good commentator. Um, I think that, um, actually, I don't know. You know, I'm going to put him as a top analyst. He's somebody that a lot of people look up to, I, that uh, people aspire to be. He definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, he He's very unbiased. He doesn't hold any biases towards KSI or Jake Paul. He's very much about the facts and the data. He doesn't hold back anything. <clears throat> and so because of that, he's a top analyst. Um, and it just seems like everything that he says comes true. Obviously, he thought like Ben Askren was going to win and all that stuff. But he wasn't the only commentator that thought that. But he definitely is someone that is very knowledgeable about what he's talking about. And... Um, if you just listen to his videos, you could be like, this guy knows what he's talking about, and there's no ifs or buts. Like, you watch his videos, you instantly know this guy knows what he's talking about, and I can certainly trust his opinion. And you want to know his opinion so badly because his opinions are just so good a lot of the time, and they make sense. And you and he gives you another, another perspective of things like the KSI spars or the Jake Paul spars that you normally wouldn't get with other YouTube channels like myself. Um, and it's not because those other YouTube channels aren't good, it's just that they don't have the v more vaster knowledge that the Wade concept has. <clears throat> but I'm going to put as a good commentator. Um, he's made some good prediction videos, he's a boxer himself. But I think that, again, there's a bit of a bias towards KSI in the UK. And, um, again, I don't like think he's like... A commentator like the Wade concept is because he is a boxer but he definitely knows the boxing game and he knows KSI and Gibb and Jake and he definitely has a good knowledge of it and whatever he says for the most part um goes by okay with most people um and yeah that's really all, that's really all I have to say on Vidal he's not really like as big as a commentator as the Wade concept is but he's a good commentator uh, and then we're going to get to um, Faye Sensei, who I have not seen a ton of his like recent boxing videos, but I have seen him break down stuff with KSI. And I'm going to put him as a good commentator. He knows what he's talking about. Um, he's very knowledgeable, again, about boxing and the combat arena because he is a part of that. And again, he is very unbi unbiased and balanced and gives honest opinions. And 
Honestly, what YouTube, what people that uh, watch YouTube boxing commentators like is people that are very honest and open and non-biased and say it how it is and looks at it very objectively instead of on emotions or because I'm a fan or he's my friend or whatnot. That's what people don't like. Um, and they like people that can also go into it in a, in a more larger depth and use the boxing vocabulary to explain certain things. And the more that you can do that, the more people are going to want to come back to you because they will see you as a very reliable source of me news and media that um, they, they can trust and have a whole new perspective. And uh, yeah, so then we're going to get on to Chelsea Nunn, who I'm going to put as um, a casual because he's, he's inf infamously known for making very bad predictions. And he does more MMA stuff, but he's a very entertaining commentator. He goes into very weird tangents about things that make no sense or whatever. But he's fun and entertaining to watch. But I think that his bad predictions and some of his knowledge makes him a casual. Um, and again, I'm not saying I'm at the level of Kel Sanad, And I'm going to put him like right there instead of me. Um... But yeah, but I, I wouldn't say he's mediocre and I wouldn't say he's a good commentator because he just gets stuff wrong. If he got his predictions more accurately, he'd be a good commentator. And I don't want to put myself at mediocre because I don't think I am. So for right now, we are not, we're not really at the same level, but that's just the way it turned out. And I think this is Kiki Media. I think this is um, the person that did a video on how good Logan Paul is at boxing. And he is a top analyst, in my opinion. Um, he gave me a whole p new perspective about the the Logan fight and the improvements Logan made. And for a long period of time, I thought Logan actually went down in skill, but he actually went up. And um, he makes great videos. He doesn't post a ton, but when he does, his videos are high quality, in-depth. Like, that's the kind of stuff that everyone wants to watch and really pay attention to. And uh, that's really all I have to say here. And then this guy, I, his name is slipping me, but I have seen his videos. I'm going to say he's a pretty good commentator. He's very honest. He's very open. He doesn't have a ton of bias. He definitely knows the boxing game very well. Um, and like these other guys, he's, he doesn't hold back anything. And his predictions have been pretty accurate for the most part. And people seem to really like his opinion and what he has to say. And then we get on to the weight concept, who I think is another top analyst. Um, personally, I think that his videos are very similar to the weight concepts, but they're also different in certain areas. Um, mainly, I think that his videos kind of... I think my one critique is his videos could be shorter. Like, I feel like he kind of goes on tangents, whereas the weight concept knows when to stop. But they were very similar in a lot of different ways, but both bring very interesting, but kind of similar perspectives. And then we're going to get on to Strike Ninja, who, as you guys know, I've done a podcast with. And I'm going to put him as a, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to put him as a casual for right now, but he's on, he's ahead of me. Because I don't think he's at the level of Vidal and, and Face Sensei. Um, he makes great quality content videos. He knows what he's talking about. He's very unbiased. Um, and I think he's just a cool guy in general because I met him. But again, I don't think he's quite at the top two level. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think in, in a few years, in like a year from now, yes. Um, and his, I don't know. I think his predictions have been pretty good f for the most part. But I just don't think he's at the top, top level yet. And then we're going to get on to the realist who, I mean, you guys know that he's a biased fanboy. Um... Plain and simple, this guy is, um, I don't need to, there's not enough words could kind of explain why, but I think for people that watch me, you know why, um, just go watch his videos, he's biased against KSI, he is obviously a huge supporter of A. Kapal, and, um, he really does not understand boxing, how it works, this is the man that said that boxing is not a combat sport, that said, oh, my friend does boxing, so I know everything, who I've exposed in so many videos, I could literally make a movie out of it, and I highly suggest it. I'm not even going to go in depth, because the people know, and if you're new to my channel, or new to my videos, just go check out um, my videos on the, on the Realist, and you'll get a much more in-depth breakdown of my opinions on him. And yeah, man, he's just, he really doesn't know anything, and he tends to create fixed facts to fit his agenda and his narrative as well. Um, and so that is basically my YouTube boxing tier list. 
Um, there were two other people that were on this, but I simply did not have the time to watch their videos because, I, again, I am not currently at my uh, locally where at my house, so I'm kind of on the go. But you know, I think you get the the picture. Um, realists could take up these whole other spots, and I think these two channels, which names are forgetting me, I think one of them would also go into bias fanboy i think or one of these people uh someone told me it was like a biased fanboy mediocre so these these two probably would be in this category or the biased fanboy category but there were some great youtube boxing commentators but there were definitely are biased fanboys or people that think they know what they're talking about when they don't and um let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what you think about this i think that it's going to get a very mixed response i'm going to get a lot of likes dislikes hate comments love comments Either way, though, uh, it's, it's views, so it is what it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Or peace. Yeah, anyways, I have some pretty weak outros.